Up until Clark's goal, what were, what were your thoughts when Clark finally went in? Well, uh, relief, you mm -hmm. know, massive relief because, you know, honestly, it, it, we could have probably had four or five goals that game. And, uh, you know, sometimes that's how it goes in soccer. We were, in the first half, we lacked a little bit of the, that final pass quality to put us through or to give us a really good chance. In the second half, it looked like we definitely had worn UNLV down a little bit. So we were creating a lot more, you know, quality chances. Mm -hmm. And I, we all kind of felt it was a matter of time, mm -hmm. you know, that the, the goal would come. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we talked about quick set pieces, and that's how the goal came. So um, it was a very good scout by Ryan Hopkins, our mm -hmm. assistant coach here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so uh, you guys are now 8-0 in your last uh, eight home matches. Um, you guys have four more coming up. Do you guys need this for momentum in these next four coming up? Every game is critical. Every game is an NCAA playoff game. You know, you know we've been there before where we've won 11 games and not gotten into the playoffs. You know, um, especially at home, you need to take care of business. And, and it's always good to win the first game, and it's a it's a bit of a relief. You know, and um, we are our, we got tough games every weekend. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, next weekend we're going to play a University of New Mexico team, which is which is you know uh, nationally ranked. You know, so yeah, it's good to good. It's good for confidence, um, and it's also good to know that you know the, uh, what we've been working on um, really um, uh, was was uh, produced a good uh, um, you know uh, result. Mm -hmm. Now you've been quoted saying your defense is uh, could be one of the best in the nation. You hold you held the UNLV to I think it was four shots, three. five shots, four, three shots, three, three shots. Excuse me. Um, what can you say about their performance today? Well. It was great, you know. We, you know, against Cal in that preseason game, like we've been saying, it was a fantastic game for us to lose because it showed all the gaps that we can have if we don't really stay disciplined, which is um, the key to defending. And you know, these guys are they're they're um, they played a lot of college games now, and now they're positioned a little bit better. Mm -hmm. You know, we're we're staying at home a little bit more, you know, in the back, and um, you know, the results uh, are that. You know, they're getting less tired, they're concentrating more on defending mm -hmm. in the back, and um, you know, our forwards are going to be counted on to put, put the ball in the back of the net. So, um, you know, we'll see. You know, the next game is New Mexico, and uh, I think they're probably an even more powerful team than, than UNLV. Um, I would guarantee that they're a more powerful team. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we'll have, a, we'll have a real good test next weekend, mm -hmm. next Friday. You guys lost Zamora, you guys lost Junior coming into this year. What can you say about the, your offensive output in this beginning game? I think our offense is going to come around. I really do. I mean, you know, you saw it tonight. I mean, we probably could have scored four or five goals. I think Dakota Collins is going to score goals. I think Kyle Montgomery is going to score goals. I think Benny Estes is going to score goals. And I think Ian Clark is going to come into his own as well. Mm -hmm. So I do think the goals will come. Mm -hmm. I was real pleased.